Shut sights in the names of my vision Up and hindered me to see your plans for me I forget that in every season You're the one who's got me through my thick and thin But you're still so good to me Oh,
Greet the person bef- bef- beside you. Bef- 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 sorry. <laughs> greet the person beside you. Good morning. Good morning. Good yeah. morning. So, sino nakakaalam? How many days are left before Christmas comes? 23. 23. Yes. 23 days before Christmas. Who among you are excited? Taas ang kamay. Yeah. <laughs> so, along with the Christmas rush, di ba? Excited tayo. Busy na sa work. Busy na sa preparations. But along with it comes yung, you know, when you're too busy to even stop and pause for a while. And, you know, Reflect, what is this season all about, amen? What is this season? Who is this season all about? And, you know, today, we will give thanks to the one reason why we're all here celebrating His immense love. Yes, brothers and sisters, let's declare His presence in this place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father come before you today you know broken as we are um, imperfect as we are oh God we come before you today we are ready to receive your love your unconditional love Lord we may not see ourselves the way you do but we trust that you know whenever you look at us I can just imagine your loving smile gazing at me you, oh Lord, you've been with me through everything, through thick and thin, through my sorrows and joy, oh God. You are there, constantly there. Today, Father, we take this moment. Let this be our moment with you. Alone with you, Father. Alone with you, Jesus. And alone with you, Holy Spirit. Rest in Him, brothers and sisters. Rest. In Him we find our rest. And today we're going to sing a new prayer. A new prayer to Him. And may this be your prayer. Whatever you're going through. Your praise will ever be on my lips ever be on my lips your praise will ever be on my lips ever be on my lips your praise will ever be on my lips ever be on my lips your praise will ever be on my lips ever be on my lips Like a covenant of old, your love is enduring through the winter rain and beyond the horizon. With mercy for today, faithful you have been and faithful you will be. You pledge yourself to me and is why I say your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Uh-huh. 
Continue to worship you. Oh God, you are our Jehovah Jireh, the God that provides. You are our Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals. You are our Jehovah Shalom, the God that gives peace. God, we have so many concerns in our lives. Concerns that are out of our control. Oh God, we tend to, to be afraid, to doubt. But God, at this moment, we are choosing to trust you. We are choosing to believe in you. For you are our God and you hold our future. That's why we surrender to you our lives. We surrender to you our plans, our ways. Take control, O oh God, and be our God.
was in the beginning, beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 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 Praise be to Jesus. We'd ask you now to take your seat as we have a little Christmas presentation for you all. the night before Christmas. One man is about to have an experience of a lifetime that will change his life forever. Isko, <laughs> Isko. Sino ka? Wag. Tumayo ka sa akin. Isko. Tumayo ka. Isko. Isko. Wag. Sa nga pala ako si Ghost of Christmas Past. Ah, ako nga pala si Isko. Yeah. Uh, uh, kaibigan ko si Jake. Kamusta si Jake? Ayos naman. Magkakilala kami since birth. Good. good. Yeah. Anyway. Isko! Ah! Ah! <laughs> What? Isko! Nagpunta ko rito kasi tutulungan ko. Bata ko! Bakit? Bata ko! Hindi ka bat. Tao ka. Tao. Ah. Uh, tutulungan kita, Isko. Maglalakbay tayo in time. <laughs> Sasama ka sa akin. Halika na. Ah. Halika na. Sama ka lang. Alala mo ba ito, Isko? Alam mo ba itong lugar na ito? Naalala ko yan. Tingnan mo. Tingnan mo. Ganyan kami, pag walang makain, damo na lang. Ay, grabe. Hmm, diba? Damo pa rin. 
Ganda mo pa rin. Ganda mo pa rin. Ayun lang, organic. Yun. Kututo pa ako nun. Yes. Eto pa. Eto pa, Isko. Naalala mo ba to? No! Yan yung pinupugpug ako! Grabe yung mga yan! Mga walang awa! Ganyan sila kasama sa akin. Grabe nga. Hmm? Yan pala yung nasasabi ko. Ito pa, Isko. Naalala mo ba ito? Oo, yung babae niyan. Pamilyar sa akin niyan. Oh, yan. Ano ko? Ako yan. Hindi. Spirit! Tama na! Tama na! Ayoko na! Ayoko na makita to! Ganyan na ako. Ayoko na! Tama na! Kaya ang mangyayari kay Isko at sa kaibigan niyang ghost. Makabalik pa kaya siya sa present time? Ano kaya lunch ko mamaya? Huwag naman sanang damo. Bakit ba kayo tinatanong ko? Abangan sa susunod na linggo ang Fisco seryeng pinamagatang. But... It's the time of year when good friends are near, trying hard to find a quiet moment, sharing love and joy, children with their toys, sadness fills our heart to see you go, Christmas won't be the same without you. Christmas won't be the same if you go. All I need to see is standing by my Christmas tree. Christmas won't be the same without you. Friends, it's true that Christmas won't be the same without you. All of you here in Peace South Mall. That's why kami ni Jinkin sinigurado namin na kami ibabalik sa buwan ng Disyembre to spend this special season with you all. So allow me to be the first one to greet you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Can you greet the people around you and tell them Merry Christmas? And can I invite you to stand? Sino sa inyo ang namiss ako? Yeah. Na 
na-miss ko rin kayo, sa totoo lang. Kanina nung first session, pagkakit ko rito, medyo parang naluluha ako. Kasi for four weeks, ang mga kasama ko, donkey, ganyan. <laughs> Kalabaw. Hindi, kasi, kasi, nag-date kami ni Mrs. No? Diyan lang sa probinsya namin sa US. So, <laughs> Kaya sabi namin, di balik tayo sa December. Um, I'll share with you uh, some of our experience there. But before we go to, to our talk today, I would like to welcome our first timer. Do we have first timer in the house? Yung ngayon nakapunta sa Peace South Mall. Tapos yung kamay nyo kung bago kayo so that we can see you. Ayan. If you're near them, pakibati nyo naman. Sabihin nyo, welcome. This is your home now. At the end of our gathering, we'd like to invite you to go to that place. Meron po kaming ibibigay sa inyo. And I'd like to thank all of you who keep on inviting your friends. Palakpakan ninyo yung mga sarili ninyo. Pag Christmas, tama ba? Maraming tao ang excited. Sino sa inyo excited dahil magka-Christmas na? And there are a lot of reasons why we are so excited when it comes to Christmas season. Number one, it's because of the Christmas spirit. Yung kahit saan ka pumunta yung mga tao, ang, parang ang babait. Tama ba? Pag December, parang ang babait ng mga tao sa mall. Tapos love is in the air. Why? Kasi Christmas songs are playing... Uh, in different malls, sa mga jeep, di ba? Hindi lang yan. Ang saya ng mga tao kasi sa 13th month pay. Tama? Sino nakareceive na ng 13th month pay? Oh, ayaw magtaas ng kamay, baka mahinga na, no? At hindi lang yan. Because of some gifts that we want to receive pag Christmas na binibigay sa atin ng magulang natin, ng mga, mga anak natin, and we look forward to that. Tama ba? Pero maraming tao hindi excited pag December. Tanong niyo ko bakit? Kasi merong iba, they, they know that love is in the air, pero hindi nila ma-feel. Kasi ang ka-holding hands nung kanang kamay nila ay yung kaliwang kamay lang. <laughs> Yan naman, naglalakad ka, holding hands ka mag-isa. Yan, ganun, parang ganun. No? Or, may 13 man pay ka nga, pero pambayad na lang ng utang. Tama ba? Yung, yung iba na, sabi nila, December na. Paano yung goal na ginawa ko noong January? Parang hindi ko kayang abutin. Parang katulad nito, yung, yung ganyan, hindi mo maabot. <laughs> no? O kaya parang katulad nitong isa. Ayan, no? Parang... <laughs> Gusto ka lang yung patawanin. Namiss ko kasi yung mga tawa ninyo eh. But on a serious note, some people, they are not excited this Christmas. You know why? Because they cannot see or feel God in their lives. That's why this month of December, we would like to bring back that Christmas excitement in your life. How? By giving you a powerful series entitled Unwrapped. Sabi niyo mo Unwrapped. Bakit Unwrapped? Wala lang, trip ko lang. Huh? Why Unwrapped? Because this powerful series, we will unwrap the gifts hidden in our problems. We will try to unwrap the gifts hidden in our circumstances. We will try to unwrap the hidden gifts in every situation in our life, in our past, in our present, and in our future. And at the end of the series, hopefully, you learn how to find God everywhere. Because believe it or not, everything in your life is a window where you can see God. Kahit alin, yung nature, you can see God in your nature, yes? Because nature is a window. People are windows. You, you are window. Tignan mga katabi mo, mukha bang window yan? Ano pinto? <laughs> and not only that, events are also windows. Now, sometimes there are people they cannot see and feel God. That's why this this series, or the goal of the series, is to make us see God in our past, in our present, and in our future. So, are you ready? There are three talks in the series. 
Talk one is about Santa's sack. Talk two is about Santa's sleigh. And talk three is about Santa's stocking. And on the 23rd, we will have a special Christmas gathering, big day. This morning, we'll talk about Santa's sack. So para makarelate naman tayo, para may Jupinoy, another title of my talk is Santa's Backpack. Are you ready? This is how to find God in our past. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray our favorite prayer here in the feast. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's honor the word of God. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. In this series, I will use characters from the nativity story in sharing to you about seeing God in your life. And this morning, I will use the story of Joseph. So allow me to read to you Matthew 1, verse 18 to 25. Now, this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, can you say that, betrothed? But before they leave together, she has found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus. Because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son. And they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. And took his wife into his home. He had no relation with her until she bore a, ch a son. And he named him. Jesus. Can you say that Jesus? You know, in the salvation history, si Joseph ang may pinakalist or pinakalist na recognized na character. Yung compared to Mary, ang dami niyan sa scripture, in the New Testament, si mga disciples, ang dami. Pero si Joseph, sa first part lang of the Gospels. Tapos kakaunti lang yung story niya. However, in the 15th century, Joseph received a little recognition. He was recognized by the church, but again, just a background character. And even if you look at the churches, pag uh, nagsisimbang gabi tayo, tama ba? Or Christmas, si Joseph, sa nativity story, siya yung hindi masyadong binibigyan ng istorya. Tama? Wala tayong masyadong alam sa kanya. That's why this morning, I would like to honor Joseph I will, by sharing with you how to see God in your past through the lens of Joseph in the nativity scene. Gusto niyo yan? And this is the one big message today. Ready? God has put resources in your past that you'll need in your future. Let's pray. Place your hand over your heart. And repeat this prayer after me. Jesus, I want to see you. I want to recognize you. Speak to my heart today. I'm listening. Open my eyes. 
to you. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Let's honor God's word. Praise his name. You can sit down. And as you sit down, tell the person beside you, God will speak to you today. Let's give a big hand to our music ministry, our worship team. And also dun sa ating mga actors. Palakpakan natin, ang gagaling nila. No? Ingat lang kayo, pakibantayin yung mga bata. Baka matukhang. <laughs> Nagdadamo daw kasi kanina. Narinig ka. Sino sa inyo ang gustong makalimutan ang kanilang nakaraan? Meron ba dito? Come on, you want to forget your past. Wala. You know, there are people who do not want to remember their past. Ayaw nilang maalala yung kanilang nakaraan. Nung two or three years ago, nauso yung Throwback Thursday or Flashback Friday. Sino sa inyo yung nakapag-throwback Thursday or Flashback Friday? Meron ba dito? Wala. Talagang ayaw nga, no? Maraming ayaw, ano? Bakit ayaw? Kasi yung iba... They don't want to see, or they don't want what they see in it. Ayaw nila makita yung nakikita nila doon. Parang ang labo, no? Ayaw nila makita yung nakikita nila doon. Tama naman pala. Yung ayaw mo makita, katulad nito, yung mga katulad nito mga taon to, I don't know if you know this, this girl, sino yan? Si Beyonce. Di ba? Pag tinignan mo yan, siguro parang oh, layo, no? Parang pag tinignan mo, parang gusto mo bang balikan yun? Or ito, this guy, this, si Michael Jackson. Kung si Michael Jackson, ini, ini-imagine ko, ayaw kong tignan yun. Bakit? Kasi ang itim. Ang itim niya, nagpapaputi nga eh. Diba? So ayaw mong tignan. Ayaw mong tignan. O kaya katulad nitong isang taon to. <laughs> Uy. <laughs> Ako nandiyan. Tingnan mo, nakasibangot pa. Di ba? Talagang ayaw. Di ba? Nakasibangot. Buti na lang, si Jinky, niremind ako, sabi niya, Papa, preacher ka. You need to change your perspective about your looks. So, medyo tinamaan naman ako. Kaya, nung sumunod na picturean, eto na, eto na, tsura ko. Kaya, di ba? Iba, perspective lang yan eh. Di ba? Perspective lang. So, maraming tao, ayaw nila yung nakaraan. But there are people... Okay lang sa kanila yung, yung throwback Thursday or flashback Friday. Katulad nito kaibigan ko. May, eh, gusto niya yan, no? Hindi, hindi, hindi. Biro lang. <laughs> biro lang. Ayaw din niya. Mas guwapo kasi si brother yung ngayon. Tama ba? Mas, ba, mas guwapo yan ngayon. Sa totoo lang, konting tao lang ang yung merong ganyan, yung kayang, kayang i-care yung ganyang hairdo. Parang katulad pa, ang peg ni Brother Yo, parang sila Dwayne Johnson, Vin Diesel. Yan yung mga peg niya. Tama ba? No, no, the reason why I, I post that there is because I would like to honor Brother Yo. Kasi for one month, she's, uh, he served you here in our feast. Kaya palakpaka natin si Brother Yo. He covered for me. And also the other pillar leaders who spoke God's word for you. Palakpakan din natin sila. Now here's my question to you. Can we use our past or not so good past for our future? Can we use it? Nalala ko isang, isang araw, my, my friend invited me. He's a mountain, mountaineer. Sabi niya, James, mag-mount, mag-mountaineering tayo. Sabi ko, ano ba yung mountaineering? Sabi niya, bobo mo naman. Punta tayo mountain. Ganun lang namin yun. Sabi niya, kita tayo na umaga. Punta tayo bundok. Ha? Sabi ko, mamumundok lang. In English mo pa. Sabi ko, punta tayo doon. Basta kita tayo ng umaga. So, the following day, nakita kami, umaga. So, dala niya yung kanyang backpack. The mountaineering backpack. Nagulat siya kasi, nung pagdating ko doon, 
ang dala ko yung aking backpack. No, kasi hindi ako hindi naman ako mountaineer, eh, no? So dala-dala ko yung backpack ko. So sabi niya, bakit pati nang dala mo? Sabi ko, bakit naman ako magdadala ng mabigat? Nagtataka nga ako sa inyo, bakit kayo mga mountaineer, pupunta kayo sa bundok, ang hirap umakyat, dala niyo pa malaking backpack. Sabi ko, dapat practical ka, dapat ganito lang yung dala mo. So wala siya magawa kasi preacher ako, so hindi siya mananalo. So sabi niya, sige na nga, lika na, lakad na tayo. So umakit kami ng bundok, tapos habang umaakit kami, nakita ko yung mga kasama ko, lawit na yung dila. Lawit na yung dila, sabi ko, isip-isip ko, sabi ko, tatangan nyo, ba't kayo nagdadala ng bigat na backpack? Dapat ganito lang. Ayun na nasa isip ko. So habang naglalakad kami, nauna ako, ngisi-ngisi lang ako. So sabi ko, tama yung ginawa ko. But, nung nandun na kami sa taas ng bundok, umulan. Umulan. So nung umulan, nakita ko yung kaibigan ko naglabas nung kanyang umbrella. Naglabas ng tent. Kasi umuulan. Ako, dahil di kasi yung di kasi yung umbrella, hindi kasi yung tent, sabi ko mas mountaineer ako. Kasi kumuha ko ng Sanga. Kala niya panalo siya, di ba sabi? <laughs> Mas practical ako, di ba? Kaya lang pagdating nung gabi, nakita ko siya, naglabas ng canned goods. Ako nga pala, canned goods, hindi canned goods. <laughs> siya naglabas ng canned goods. Naglabas ng tuna, naglabas ng tinapay, at gumawa ng sandwich. Bubuksa mo ba talaga yan? Huwag na, magtatagal tayo. As ako naman, dahil di rin kasa sa bag ko yung kang goods, ang tinira ko kay dahon. Balita ko si brother yung kumain daw ng chicharon. Sabi ko, tatalunin ko yan, ako damo. Wag ko kayo mag Yan ay gamot sa purine metabolism problem ko. In another words, gout. <laughs> Kalimutan ko kumain kanina. Huh? So, kumain ako ng, dum, ng leaves. Tapos na matutulog na kami, naisip-isip ko, sabi ko, medyo parang talo yata ako dito sa ginagawa ko nito. Kasi matutulog na kami, bigla na lang, may mga ingay ng hayop, yung ingay ng leon, ingay ng, ng kung ano-ano, parang yung nakakatakot na mga ingay. Nakita ko siya, naglabas ng kutsilyo. Tinignan ko yung backpack ko. Walang kutsilyo. Buti na lang, meron ako nito. Buti na lang gamit. Hindi sila makalapit. <laughs> Parang pakan natin si brother Mio. Sa din mo, may pakulo ng ating mga, ng ating, anong tawag nandun? Pisco serie. But ako. <laughs> Parang pakan natin si brother Mio. Friends, like, my mountaineering or mountaineer friend, all of us, we carry heavy backpack with lots of bad memories or heavy memories in it. Maybe some of you, you experience heartbreak when in your past. Yung owner ka ng SMX, hindi yung Samoa, hindi yung samahang malalamig ang Christmas. <laughs> Yung paborito mong video pag December frozen, kasi frozen na yung puso. Yung ganun, no? 
or maybe you experience rejection, or you experience failures, or you experience losses. And carrying these memories makes our journey in life difficult. Ang hirap, ang bigat. But I want you to remember this words of St. Paul. Let's read this together. In Romans 8.28, it says here, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. Who among you love God? So therefore, whatever it is that you went through, God can use that for your better future. Yes? And these are the resources that God placed for our future. And there are three precious resources from your past. Ilan? Tatlo. And here's the first one. The first resource of your past or in your past is this. Lesson. Sabi nyo nga, lesson. Meron tayong kasabihan, suffering is the best teacher. Yes? Suffering is the best teacher. May kakilala ako. May cellphone siya, Samsung. Sino mga Samsung ang cellphone dito? Naglalaro siya habang china-charge. Alam niyo kung ano nangyari? Sumabog yung battery. Sumabog sa muka. So, magkaroon ng pasa. Yung, yung skin niya medyo naapektuhan. Pero alam niyo kung ano nangyari? Nadala. Tinigil yung wrong habits. Kaya ngayon, pag nag-charge siya, iniiwan na niya. Bakit? Nadala. May isa naman akong nakita sa Facebook. Ito naman nangyari sa kanya. Kala ko noon na nasa bugan. Pero nakalagay, beware. Isa na namang biktima ng Samsung phone. Hindi sumabog ang battery, pero nalaman ni Mrs. ang password niya. <laughs> so di ba kung ikaw yan, aba matadala ka na. Di ba? Hindi mo naiiwan yung cellphone mo. <laughs> Ngayon, iba, kala nila, sabi nila, uy, high-tech to cellphone ko. Bakit? Kasi may face recognition. Yung anak ko, si Rico, ganyan. Face recognition, natutulog, kinuha ni Andre yung cellphone, ginanong sa mukha, nabuksan. <laughs> oh, high-tech ka pa, di ba? So, pag, pag may nangyari sa yung ganyan, anong gagawin mo? Madadala ka eh. Tama? Madadala ka. You know, The reason why we, we went to the U.S. ay para mag-honeymoon uh, ni Jinky. Hindi, <laughs> hindi, hindi, totoo yan. Kaya kami nagpunta doon. Alam nyo kaming mga builders, we are, we are asked by the leadership, sila Bo, to have a sabbatical leave. Yung mag-leave ka, kung ilang taong ka na kunyari builder, meron kang ilang buwan na dapat wala ka doon sa feast mo. Tapos hindi ka talaga pupunta doon. Ahayaan mo yung feast tumakbo para malaman natin kung kaya tumakbo. So kaya kahit dumating na kami noong November 16, hindi pa ako agad nagpunta. But that's another reason. May, may isang dahilan pa diyan kung bakit hindi ako nagpunta. Kaya yung video, totoo yun. Ha? Kung ba't ako hindi nakapunta dito. So we went to the US and one of the place na nagustuhan ko doon is yung, yung South Lake Tahoe. South Lake Tahoe. So it's about two or three hours drive from San, San Francisco. Punta kami doon sa, sa South Lake Tahoe. Tapos pagdating ko doon, talagang ang ganda nung lugar. Ang ganda nung bundok. Yung parang nakikita mo doon sa mga wallpaper ng computer. Ganun. So kaya makikita mo, isa lang muna ang kinuha kong picture. Yan, makikita mo yung, yung bundok niya. May parang orange. Yung, ang, ang ganda. Tapos ang ganda pa nung katabi mo. Talagang ganda talaga nung dating, di ba? So, pero alam mo, kung wala yung mga picture na yan, eventually, makakalimutan ko yan. Pero isang bagay hindi ko makakalimutan sa Lake Tahoe. Tanong nyo ko, ano? Because of my purine problem, pagdating ko doon sa US, sinumpong ako. Sinumpong. So, the whole 10 days in the US, ang sakit. Naliligo ako last day of of our stay in Lake Tahoe. Yung bathtub, kasi iniisip ko kayo, sabi mo, kamusta na kaya yung feast? Tawawa naman sila. Yung, yung ganun. So habang naliligo ako, nako, hindi ko napansin, madulas pala yung bathtub. Madulas. And luma na kasi yung klase ng bathtub. So pag ganun ko, 
iningatan ko kasi ito, hindi ko maituon, masakit. Bumagsak ako. Tumama itong likod ko. Itong buong likod sa kaliwa, tumama dun sa edge nung bathtub. Tapos parang kala ko, yun na yung panoras ko. Sabi ko, Lord, kung kukunin mo ko, okay lang dito sa US. At least namatay akong Amerikano. <laughs> pero, pero hindi pa. Pero ganun yung feeling ko, ang sakit talaga. Ans- Ay, talaga hindi ako makahinga. Yung si Jinky, kasi narinig ang lakas talaga ng bagsak. Bag! Yung ganun. Tapos sabi, ano nangyari, Papa? Yung nagbawala na si Jinky. Ako naman, hindi ako maka- makabaong kasi ang hirap puminga. Tapos sabi ko, hindi ako makapagsalta. Sabi ko, sandali lang kasi pinabubuksan niya yung pinto. Tapos nung, nung na- medyo nakahinga na ako na maayos, pero may pain pa din, trinay ko yung kamay ko, e ganun. Kasi feeling ko parang nabali, nabali yung likod ko eh. So nung naganyan ko na, sabi ko mukhang okay naman ako. Tapos mamaya gumaganyan, ganyan pa ako na ako. Tapos mukhang okay na ako. So tumayo na ako, tapos binuksan ko na yung pinto. Alam mo, mari makalimutan ko yung mga pictures namin ni Jinky sa Lake Tahoe. Pero yan, hindi ko makakalimutan. Kaya yung mga sumunod na pinuntahan namin sa US, pag maliligo ako, gaganyan muna ako doon sa bata. Kasi nadala na ako eh. Nadala na ako. So, nag-iingat na ako. Friends, sometimes, what you do not like in your past, God might allow that so that, so that you will have lessons to learn. Because the lessons is learned not in your progress, But the lesson is learned in your pain. Tama? Huwag mga kamay ng katabi mo. Sabihin mo nga sa kanya, don't forget the lessons. Sagutin mo nga siya. Sabihin mo nga sa kanya, natuto na ako. Next time, hindi na ako tatabi sa'yo. So that's the first one. Now let's go to the second resource of our past. And this is the second resource, light. Sabi nyo nga, light. You know, many times our suffering creates deep compassion for others. And the best person who can comfort someone who are going through a difficulties in life is the person who go through with the same trials or who went through the same trials. Tama ba? Yung pinagdaanan mo, na pinagdadaanan ng iba, ikaw yung mas madaling mag-akay sa kanya. Yes? Kasi pinagdaanan mo eh. And there is this saying that the best healers are the wounded healers. Na, al- alam nyo na to, nakwento ko na to rito. Yung mga anak ko, si, yung isa sa mga anak ko nung, nung college, bumagsak. Tapos ako, dal, hindi, ako bumag, hindi, hindi ako naka-experience bumagsak. Galit na galit ako. Galit na galit ako. Tapos asawa ko, nakita ko, cool lang. Yeah, parang walang, di man lang nagalit. Pero ako galit na. Bakit? Kasi hindi ako bumagsak. Tapos sabi niya, Papa, tignan mo ako, department manager, graduate ako ng college, bumagsak din ako. Kere lang yan. Sabi ko, kaya pala. Kasi bumagsak pala siya. Tapos nung isang, isang bes, yung isang anak ko naman, nangupit. Nangupit. Nakita ko si Jinky nagwawala. Nagagalit. Bakit? Kasi hindi pa siya nakaka- nangupit kailanman. Ako? Cool lang. Sabi niya, bakit cool ka lang? Kere lang yan. Preacher ako. Nangupit din. Di ba? Pinagdaanan eh. Pinagdaanan. So, ang daling... Ang daling in- maintindihan or intindihin yung isang taong may pinagdadaanan. And si Bo, you know, si Bo is, is mentoring our young builders. So, gusto ko sana magpamentor. Kaya lang sabi niya, James, hindi ka naman young. Mukha ka lang young, pero matanda ka na, kaya halos kay edad kita eh. So, gusto niyang magmentor ng mga builders. Tapos yung mga young builders naman, pag tinatawagan siya, Brother Bo, can, can we have a coffee? Kasi I want, I want to learn about, 
about this business that I'm, I'm putting up and medyo bumabagsak yung business ko. And, and si Bo, ang bilis, uuuhan niya agad and he will mentor this young builder and, and, the, and he will tell them, kaya mo yan, huwag ka mag-alala, bumagsak man yan, tuloy ka lang. At bakit niya kayang gawin? Kasi dinaanan niya. Kasi dinaanan niya. He failed many times. That's why it's easy for him to, to encourage these people na ano yun, okay lang yan. Carry lang yan. Bakit? Kasi dinaanan niya. And I think that's the reason, that's a problem with the Pharisees in, in the scripture. Sa scripture, whether you believe it or not, yung mga pareseyo, hindi ho sila masamang tao. They are not bad people. In fact, they are so good people. Ang bait na mga pareseyo. Bata pa lang, they've been doing God's work or they, 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 they heard about the, the laws of God and they will and they will do it as basta bata pa lang and they, they will grow up following that law and they will avoid sins. That's why they become a Pharisee. Ito yung problema nila. Kaya pag mayroong mga taong nagkakasala, mayroong mga taong na hindi gumagawa ng tama, they cannot understand why these people cannot do what they did in their lives. Bakit? Kasi parang perfecto sila. They're good. They're good. Now the difference with the church now, you will see our mga priest, diba? mga pari natin, sa totoo lang, May mga pari, pag pumunta ka doon, alam mo na mayroong mga kalokohan pa din. Yung sigarilyo, yung, yung parang papogi, yung ganyan marami. Marami tayong pari, no, kahit, kahit mga preacher na, yung alam mo yun, na parang mayroong pa rin pinagdadaanan, mayroong pa rin kahinaan. But friends, that is the reason why we go to the church. Because our leaders, our priests, our preachers, these are the people who went through difficulties in life, who went through sins in their life, or going through in their life. And yet, they continue to struggle and follow Jesus. Kaya, tayo mga katoliko, I encourage you to continue go to your church and attend the Mass. Why? Kahit makasalanan yung mga pari natin, kaya nila tayong akayin sa Diyos. Tanong nyo ko bakit? Tanong nyo ko bakit? Because if you walk through darkness before, may dinaanan ka ng dilim sa buhay, yung mata mo, nakaka-adjust na sa dilim. At dahil nakaka-adjust na sa dilim yung mata mo, so you can now be a light to those people who are going through darkness the first time. Yes? So continue going to church. Yung pag nabalitaan nyo, si Brother James, ay, maloko pala yan. Punta pa rin kayo. Punta pa rin kayo. Ha? Pero hindi naman ako maloko. Loko-loko lang. Huwag mga kamay ulit ng katabi. Sabihin mo nga sa kanya, God can use you to be a light to others. Yes? So what's the first one? Lessons, lights, and this is the, the last one. Loves. Sabi nyo nga, loves. People who suffer much can love much. Do you believe in that? Yung nag-suffer ka sa buhay, mas madali kang magmahal. Minsan isang bagay, isang bagay o isang tao, malalaman mo lang yung halaga niya pag nawala na sa'yo. Tama ba? Doon mo lang malalaman yung halaga niya. People who went through poverty knows the value of wealth. Yung pag naghirap ka, so, ang gagawin mo pag nagkapera ka, iingatan mo. Bakit? Kasi dati wala ka. Or people who went through sickness knows, know the value of health. Last Wednesday, we went to Christ the King in Ortigas and we attended the eulogy of Mike Binya's dad. Namatay po yung tatay ni Mike Binya's last Saturday during the KCON and I honored that guy kasi 
patay na yung tatay niya, but he still serves the community in leading worship during Saturday and Sunday. Kasi Saturday, pinakremate na nila. Eh. So, kaya libre na siyang umalis. So, we attended. And you know, nagbigay ng eulogy yung mga yung mga tao. Minsan din ako nagtataka, ba't pag, pag, uh, pag sa eulogy, no? yung, parang, yung mga tao parang sayang. Yung ganun. Yung doon dun ka pala mag papasalamat dun sa tao. Anyway, natapos na yung eulogy, tapos na sana yung huling, yung huling magsasalita, bigla na lang, may pahabol, may pahabol. And then there's this woman, I think galing sa states, kababata niya, elementary, magkakasama, magkakasama na sila. Tapos alam mo ang sabi niya, alam mo, si, si brother jo, si Joey, Joey yung pangalan ni, ng tatay ni, ni Mike, sabi niya, si Joey, nung, nung huling kita namin, sabi niya, grabe yan. Talagang grabe yung passion niya doon sa pagsasabi sa amin na naingatan mo yung health mo. Matulog ka na na maaga yung stress hanggat maari iwasan ninyo. Otherwise, magkakakancer kayo. And, and he's been talking about his, his experience, his sickness. Tapos umiiyak na sabi niya, sayang, sayang. Kasi si, si Joey, yung tatay ni Mike, two years ago, alam namin gumaling na yung sakit niya. Gumaling na. Kasi yung part of his body that has cancer, Pagpunta siya sa doktor, uh, anong tawag doon? Eastern medicine, gumaling. Ang mali lang, hindi nila nakita na kumalat na pala at may tinamaang isang organ. That's why after two years, he died. Kaya ito si Joey, si brother Joey, talagang lahat ng mga kinakausap niya, ganun. Iwasan mo na yung pagkain ng mataba, iwasan mo na yung, yung ganito, gawin mo, gawin mo to, ingatan mo yung kalusugan mo. And I believe some of you, you experience that. Tama ba? May mga kakilala ka na ganyan, may pinagdaanan. Nung, pinag, nung, nung malagpasan nila, gusto nilang ishare sa iba. They're so passionate with their stories. You know why? Because they've experienced the difficulty. Friends, I think that's one of the reasons why sometimes God allowed us to experience difficulties. Para sa ganun, pahalagahan mo ang isang bagay o pahalagahan mo ang isang tao. Yes? Now, here's my question to you. Do you have deep wounds today? Do you have deep pains today? And and bite my keyboard discs. Ang kaibigan, naniniwala ako that God has a purpose for your deep wounds and your deep pain. Tanong nyo ako, what's the purpose? Mas malakas pa, what's the purpose, Brother James? The purpose of your deep pain, the purpose of your deep wound is not to prevent you from your success, but to push you to your progress. Hindi para pigilan ka doon sa success na gusto ng Diyos sa buhay mo, hindi, kundi para itulak ka doon sa tamang Anybody to the stand? Brother Neo, nasa na yung backpack mo? Pero mga kanong backpack mo. Kala ko inuwi, inuwi na nung may ari. Thank you. Question. Why is this called backpack? Why is this called backpack? Dahil nilalagay sa likod. Galing. Grabe, isang buwan lang ako nawala at parang tumalino kayo, ha? <laughs> Matalino talaga yung mga taga-free South Mall. Tama, ano? 
nilalagay sa likod. Pero merong ibang tao, hindi masyadong matalino pagdating sa nakaraan nila. Pagdating dun sa past nila. How? Because they carry it the wrong way. May mga naging kaklase ba kayong ganito? Pag pumapasok, yung parang jologs, di ba? Yung parang gusto mo sabihin, bobo mo naman, backpack nga yan eh, ba't mo nasa, nasa, nasa harap, di ba? Tapos magre-reklamo, yung parang ang bilis maglakad lagi, yung ganun, kasi mabigat eh, di ba? May mga ganyan tao, they carry the backpack in the wrong way. Ginagawa nilang, anong front, front pa, back, hindi <laughs> front Bro, <laughs> nakamali na tayo. Front, back. They carry it in the wrong way. Friends, you know, when you carry the backpack the wrong way, is when you carry these two things. Resentment and regrets. Sabi nyo nga, resentment, regrets. Sama ng loob, panghihinayang. Yung narinig nyo ba yan? Yung kakainin, sayang sana. Sayang sana ganito ginawa ko. Sayang sana sinagot ko siya. Sayang sana nagpunta ako sa ibang bansa. Sayang sana kakainis. That's why I believe the writer of Isaiah wrote this. to remind us not to carry our backpack the wrong way. Isaiah 43 says, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Do not dwell on the past. This is dwelling on the past. This should be how to carry the past. Parang hindi mabigat. Parang gusto mong may matutunan, titignan mo lang. Pero hindi siya magiging hadlang sa iyo. Friends, this is what I've learned. That if you look at your past with resentments and regrets, you will never see God in it. Hindi mo makikita ang Diyos. Si Joseph, We started with Joseph. I'd like to end this with Joseph. I believe Joseph, he didn't live his life with resentments and regrets. You know why? Two reasons. Dalawang dahilan. Unang dahilan na ito. If you look at our reading, the Bible says that kasal na sila, betrothed, Because in, in their time, bago kayo maging mag-asawa, betrothal stage muna, papakasal kayo. But after that, you will go separate ways. Punta yung as babae sa bahay nila, yung lalaki sa bahay nila, to prepare for the marriage. And that will take about one year. Tapos after one year, tsaka pa lang sila magsasama sa isang bahay. So dito sa binasa natin, mag-asawa na sila. Pero nang sabi dun sa binasa natin, buntis si Mary. And During their time, they value virginity so much. Kaya si, si Joseph, sa sobrang pagmamahal niya siguro din kay Mary, hihiwalay niya, pero secret lang. And I, 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 I feel the pain of, of Joseph. Kasi mag-asawa na sila eh. Tapos parang, alam mo yun, naloko. That's why he wanted to divorce Mary. But the angel appeared to him. At ito sabi ng angel sa, angel sa kanya, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. Now, ito yung unang dahilan. Ba't ko nasabi, hindi siya nabuhay sa regret and resentment. Matthew 1, 18 to 25. It says here, when Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relation with her until she bore a son and he named him Jesus. So ito yung unang dahilan. He obeyed and believed in the promise of God. And what's the promise of God? That a Savior will come from your lineage. Manggagaling yung tagapagligtas sa lahi mo. 
Meaning, Joseph believed that no matter what the circumstances in his life were, he believed that God is with him. Kasama niya ang Diyos. And here's the second reason. The following chapter, chapter 1 kanina, ano yung pangalaman sa following chapter? Chapter 2. Talagang tumatalino ang mga taga-pisa. No? Sa chapter 2, ito yung sabi dun sa reading. When they, the Magi and the shepherds, had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother. Flee to Egypt and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed to Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod. That was the Lord. That's what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt, I called my son out. Here's the second reason. He protected Jesus and his mother. Ito yung nasa isip ko. Kung may resentment or regret si Joseph, alam mo, nung mga anak si Mary, pwede niya sabihin, ginawa ko na yung part ko, hindi ka na napaya, sinama na kita, pero ngayon, dyan ka na. Dyan ka na. Pero hindi eh. You know that he did not live in resentment and regret. Why? Because he protected Jesus. Friends, do you want to see God and God's promise in your life? Like Joseph? Then do these two things. Number one, believe that no matter how hard your past was, no matter how painful your past was, God was there with you and He will use your pain to make your future better. And second, protect Jesus in your heart. Do not allow what you don't understand in your life destroys your trust in Jesus. Yung hindi mo naiintindihan, wag mong hayaang sirain niyan yung pananampalataya mo at tiwala mo sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. And if you will do these things, like Joseph in the manger carrying Jesus you will be surprised to what God can reveal to you through His Son. Can you close your eyes, bow down your heads. I want you to listen to this song. May you be surprised by the love of God as He is revealed Himself to you through your pain, through your wounds in Jesus. I'm sure He must have been surprised at where this road had taken him cause never in a million lives would he have dreamed of Bethlehem and standing at the manger he saw with his own eyes the message from the angels come to life and joseph said why me 
I am just a simple man of faith. Who I am is just an ordinary girl. Who I hear inside this table filled with hay. And why her? She's just an ordinary girl. Now I'm not one to second guess what angels have to say. But this is such a strange way to save the world. To think of how it could have been if Jesus had come as he deserved. There would have been no Bethlehem, no lowly shepherds at his birth. But Joseph knew the reason love had to reach so far. And as he held the Savior in his arms, he must have thought, why? Me. I'm just a simple man of trade. Who I am with all the rulers in the world. And why here inside this table filled with hay? And why her? She's just an ordinary girl. Now I'm not one to second guess what angels have to say. But this is such a strange way to save the world. Whoa, 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 whoa. to second guess what angels have to say but this is such a strange way oh it's such a strange way it's a strange way to save the world Friends, you may, you may not be happy with your past. You may not even want to look back in your past. But I believe that those pains and those sufferings you've been through, God can reveal His presence in you. That's why I want you to believe that God was there with you. Ask me why. Because God is not just the God of today. God is not just the God of tomorrow. God is the God of yesterday. Yes? Let's worship Him. Father, this morning, Your words are so clear. We know that You are the God, not just of our present, nor our tomorrow, but You are the God of yesterday. That's why this morning, we just ask You to continue open our hearts, open our minds, so that we can see You 
in our past. And all this we pray in Jesus' name. you are thinking of me, that the maker of the heaven writes my story. You place the moon and the stars, you read on seas and the sky, you are the Lord of most high. Yet you call me by name. Let's sing this. you sent your son to save me, that the king of all kings live to serve me. You live from heaven to earth, nailed on the cross in my place. You rose from death and the grave, so today
you believe that God is in your past, Amen. that God is in your present, Amen. that God is in your future, yeah. can you make a joyful noise yeah. for your God? Can you hug the people around you? Kung kaibigan mo yan, kung kakilala mo yan. And tell them that God is the God of your past. Are you blessed today? Natin natin, Thank you, Jesus. Please be seated for a quick announcement. This morning, we have 200 attendees and in our second session, we have 707. So we have 907 total. In your bulletin, you will see two kinds of envelope. Yung isa is the blue one. These are for the those who are giving their tithes, the 10%. Yung white is for uh, love offering. So, il- isa lang yung nandyan sa envelope mo. But we have here now, some of you, you have green envelope. Meron bang green envelope sa inyo? Ayan. So, kung wala kang green envelope, most probably ang nandyan ay pink envelope. And because uh, every Christmas, dalawang best tayo nagkakaroon ng special offering. Una, pag anniversary, for those who are new and you do not know this, dun sa anniversary at pangalawa, Christmas. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to take this home, whether it's green or, or pink, but next week we will give you the green one because this is the Christmas envelope talaga. Naubusan yata. Dahil ang dami umating kanina, 200. <laughs> Hindi nakapagpaprint. So, I want you to take this home and, and discuss this with your family, with your husband, and pag-usapan ninyo, ano yung gusto nyong ibigay kay Jesus ngayong Pasko? This is on top of what we give on our regular giving. And uh, to be honest with you, we are not yet positive for uh, to date, so negative tayo. And we're using our special giving para supportahan yung ating weekly gathering. Okay? So, and, and other activities like Ozum Kids, youth, uh, uh, youth Ministry natin, and other activities here in Peace South Mall. So, bring this home, discuss this, and on the 23rd, that is the last feast for the year, together, bibigay natin dito sa Peace South Mall. Okay? So, hanggang 23 yung feast. We, will, we have three talks and the big day special gathering, Christmas gathering on the 23rd. Now, kung hindi ka makakapunta on the 23rd, huwag ka malungkot kasi pwede mo ibigay ngayon or next week or the week after next. Okay? But I encourage you to join us on our last feast. Diba? Nagsisimba naman tayo pag linggo, 23, then let's worship God together and thank God together for this marvelous season and blessings that we receive for the year. Can I see you on the 23rd? Yes. Praise God. Let's all stand and allow me to pray for your giving. Na-miss ko ito, kaya puro kanta ginawa ko ngayon. Ano? Pansin nyo ba? Miss ko kayo eh. Kaya kahit medyo malat na. So allow me to pray for your giving. Let's lift our tithes and offering. Allow me to pray for your giving. Father, we thank you for your words today. We thank you for reminding us that whatever it is in our past, you place it there as a resource for a better future. Thank you for your words. Thank you for reminding us that you are with us as we journey. That's why this morning we would like to give back to you your goodness, your love, your blessings. You've been blessing each and every one of us in so many ways. And this is our, our way of giving back to you. Malit lang po ito. Compared to your love, compared to your, give, to your gifts for us. But we pray that you bless them and use them. 
for your glory. And Father, I lift up to you, my friends, as they give their tithes, their offering. I pray for double portion of your blessings for them this coming weeks. Alam mo yung mga pangailangan nila, alam mo yung mga kailangan nila sa buhay, alam mo yung sitwasyon nila. May, may you surprise them with an answered prayer these coming weeks. And may they see you this Christmas season. And all this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Come friends, with joy. Let's give our tithes and offering to Jesus. And see you all next Sunday. Enjoy.